Hello everyone, this is Karthik Silvaraj and in this video series we will be seeing about uh, MuleSoft's AnyPoint MQ. So I am planning to take this as a 3 to 4 part video session. So in this session it will be a basic introduction about AnyPoint MQ. Okay, so let's move on. So a little bit introduction about AnyPoint MQ and uh, this is as per the definition provided by MuleSoft team. So AnyPoint MQ is a multi-tenant cloud messaging service that enables customers to perform advanced asynchronous messaging scenarios between their applications. And AnyPoint MQ is fully integrated with AnyPoint platform. So the meaning of uh, multi-tenant is multi-tenancy is a software term in which it describes there is a single piece of software hosted in a cloud and um, many users can use that software. So it is not a per user per software basis which was the way of working some years back. So now this is a multi-tenant which can be used by multiple users. So and this is not a messaging service that we have like in uh, ActiveMQ or RabbitMQ. So this is a cloud based messaging service similar to Amazon's X SQS simple queue service. So I'll explain about these concepts in my later uh, videos or in this later slides. Okay. So moving on. <coughs> so AnyPoint MQ was introduced. Uh, the version one was introduced in December 21st, 2015. So the current version that we have now is 1.30. So which was introduced on August 27, 2016. So the version 1.3 is supported in Mule runtime. 3.7.4 or higher and the AnyPoint Studio version which it is supported is 5.3 or above. So just to give a background about the features that are available with AnyPoint MQ are some of these. So I have listed a few things. So one is supports multi-tenancy. I have spoken about multi-tenancy. So, um, multiple user group can use a single piece of software hosted in a cloud so it supports multi tendency the second main advantage is the use of pubsub so similar to all popular messaging service anypoint mq also helps uh, or supports pubsub so the third one is it supports encryption so there, there are some industries like in banking or healthcare. So you, you have to be in complaint with some regulatory uh, laws that your data should be encrypted. So if that is the case, then it gives you an easy option to get it encrypted just with the button click. So it supports encryptions as well. Okay. So the fourth one is it supports a larger payload. So if you see Currently, it supports a payload size of up to 10 MB. Maybe MuleSoft team might be working on uh, something to increase this as well in the future. But as of now, 10 MB is going to be a, a good size for a message because a message more than 10 MB is not going to be efficient in the messaging world. So I think 10 MB is okay. So if you compare with the IBM's M MQ, it supports a maximum of 100 MB. So, but a single message of 10 MB is, seems to be very optimum and there is no restriction on the number of messages that can be uh, there in a queue. So it is only a per message which can be up to 10 MB and you can have lakhs or even millions of messages. So there is no restrictions on that. So the next point is it does supports persistent storage. So uh, if you have an MQ in your premise or you have installed MQ in your server and uh, suppose in case there is a failure of the server and you don't have a backup then probably you will be losing your messages but uh, when you are having any point MQ which is a cloud based messaging service you have the messages there even in case of any failures so that covers both the points full disaster recovery as well because they have these messages in multiple servers so even if one node is 
out these messages are rated in some other server so it provides you full disaster recovery and the messages are persistent okay so move on to the next slide so okay provides dead letter queue capabilities for undelivered message okay so let's let's have this scenario <coughs> uh, so uh, there is a particular retailer who offers or uh, okay no, not that scenario maybe we can go for a different one so you you have a destination but due to some 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 issues the destination server is down or the whatever it is the message is not able to be delivered to the des destination server or queue or folder whatever it can be so in that case you need to i mean uh, it should not be that the processor should be trying to place the file to the destination continuously so you can provide a threshold or 10 times or retry times i mean 10 times 5 times that can be configured and you can say if the number of retries has been achieved and still the message is not able to be delivered then you can move these messages to your dead letter queue so it is like uh, you are moving the messages which fail to route to the destination to some other queue so that is available in any point in queue okay so the next one is client management so with any point in queue you have the facility to provide access to queues based upon some clients or some users so that has been made easy in any point in queue okay next is scalability so if if you have your mq in your premise and uh, if there is going to be a higher volume you have to scale up your server and similarly you have to uh, do some changes in your environment to cope up with the high volume of messages that is going to be coming so scalability has been always a problem for uh, big retailers or whatever industry it is mainly retailers uh, during christmas time they have a huge load of messages and it is unpredictable it can even go beyond what they have expected so in those kind of scenarios uh, having your queuing service in a cloud based messaging service is going to be a huge advantage and i think uh, any point mq uh, is going to be very useful in that particular use case because you don't have to do anything extra because it is readily available and uh, you can have any number of messages to be loaded into the queue so it is easily scalable so scalability is not a problem when you are going to use any point mq the next one is you have a management console uh, which is very easy to use maybe during the demo i can show you and uh, you have these reports about the statistics and uh, about uh, from which source uh the message was uh, coming and uh, uh how much in flight messages are there and how much messages has passed for a particular day or a particular hour so this gives you an idea about the flow of messages that is coming to your enterprise so that report is really good and the last one is you can uh, integrate uh this with your mule application as well so we we do have a any point connector through which you can connect to your uh, in any point mq so that is also been made available so these are some of the features it has many features as well and i have just listed out the uh, features that i think is going to be the core thing of uh, any point mq okay so move on to the next slide so if you see component wise there are only three components one is the message queue i'll just move on to the next slide message exchange and the client applications so moving back i have just listed out the operations that are that can be done in each component okay so uh maybe i i will explain about uh, all this in my next video so i don't want to have this video as a simple one um so i will just explain about each and every operation in my next video so moving on so these are the reference websites i have used so that's all for this video so i will meet you with uh, a more detailed video next time thank you